Tuesday's storm did some significant damage to the lower part of Clinton County, especially one of the hardest hit areas was the MPC Cashway Lumber Yard, but many of the homes nearby were damaged. Alyssa Fenske shows us the aftermath. <laughs> Renita Taylor and her family spent the day cleaning up what the storm left behind. And my solar cover was in the pool. I'm missing siding. I have fence blown down. I've got four trees snapped in half. She actually fared better than her neighbor, whose barn was completely ripped to shreds. Our barn was hit. Our car was hit back into the garage. But our house, thank the Lord, was not in damage. No one in the area was hurt in the storm. As Taylor and her neighbor describe it, it was a quick and powerful one. It happened within seconds. It, it just was dark and so fast moving wind. It, it was almost like a blur except for you could see the trees horizontal. Down trees and debris mark pretty much a straight line between the barn and MPC lumber, the area that was actually hit the hardest. Quite a, a path of damage from over from Ingersoll Road to the southwest through the MPC lumber property. It's been confirmed that the damage to Taylor's property, the barn, and MPC lumber was caused by straight line winds and not a tornado. But not everyone is as convinced. If it wasn't a tornado, then it was awful close to one. In Clinton County, Alyssa Fenske, Fox 47 News. The Lansing Board of Water and Light was also in the area Wednesday, fixing many of the power lines damaged by the straight line winds.